Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Angela and we are on day 111, 111 days that we've been drawing together. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Now I am dolled up today in my red, white, and blue for a reason because we're coming up on a big holiday in the United States. And for those of you that aren't from the United States, I'm going to tell you what it is. It is called Labor Day and Labor Day is to honor all the people that work very hard every day. So it gives the laborers or the workers one big long weekend at the end of summer so the end of summer is coming up it's labor day weekend and we're going to enjoy the summer weather and then it's really back to back to work back to everything from now on even though some of you are already back to school but i've got my hat on with my red white and blue and i've got my glasses Woo, and they have got stars on them. Let me tell you, they are pretty darn hard to see out of. So to help me draw better, I will take them off. I'll put them right up there so I know where they are. <laughs> I'll forget where they are. Okay, grab your paper, your pencil, your crayons, your markers, your colored pencils, whatever you got, and we're going to get started. Now, I said it's Labor Day, so we're going to try to stick with the red, white, and blue theme, and then we are going to do something more summery, you know, a little summery. So when I think of summer, I think of beaches, and I think of um, wearing flip-flops, so we're going to draw a pair of flip-flops today. Now, if you don't know what flip-flops are, they're a little pair of sandals. They go between your toes, and you walk around in them in the sand and whatever you want. So today it is flip-flop day, and we are going to add these uh, red, white, and blue to it to make it Labor Day flip-flops. Are you ready? Okay, let's get going. All right, we're going to make the shape. We're going to make them really big on our paper. Now, I'm going to make the pair of shoes. So shoes are almost like um, you got to make the shape of a foot. Hmm, I don't know how else to call it. So I'm going to start, oh my gosh, I'll start right here. And I'm going to make a big circle at the top, and I'm going to come around... And I'm going to skip a spot because I have a marker. I always tell you I can't erase, so i got to skip a spot. And I'm going to skip a pretty big spot and then come around here. It's kind of like a footprint, just like a footprint. But like I said, you can color in, draw the lines there if you want to because you can erase them. Now I'm going to make another one because we got to have two feet here that we're walking around in. And let's go ahead and make one that we're going to try to make it about the same size. But if it's not, eh, it's art. All right, so we've got like two big footprints. Now let's make them the top of a pair of flip-flops. Now the flip-flops have this little thing that goes between your toes. They drive me crazy. I don't like flip-flops very much because they hurt my toes. But we're going to draw them, okay? All right, so we're going to start, come down a little bit, pretend your big toe is going to be there. So you're going to go right down, oh, a little bit, uh, pretty much in the middle. And we're going to come down and around. And then when I come up, I'm going to touch it right to the side. See that loop? I kind of came down, made the loop, and then I touched it to the side. And that's going to give the illusion like the plastic is bent over. And then let's go down the other side and do the exact same thing. Come down, and then I'm going to make a loop, and I'm going to go right back up and touch the other side. Now, how does that look like a flip-flop? Not too much yet, but we're going to add two more lines, and then it's going to look like it. So then we're going to go right, oh, I'd say right about here, about the same thickness, and we're going to go up. Just like that. And then we're going to come down like this. Now you got your flip-flops. It, so it's going to look like it goes between your toes. And then the stuff bends over. And it looks just like a flip-flop. Okay, let's go over here do this exact same thing. Go up, kind of pretend your big toes right there. So I'm going to put my flip-flop right about there. I'm going to come down. I'm going to bend it around. And I'm going to come right back up and touch the side. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to come down. I'm going to come around onto the shoe and touch it right to the other side. Then I'm going to make the inside of my line just like this. There you go. You've got flip-flops. You did it the really easy way. Now, I'm going to make like a little shadow on here. And we're going to see a little bit of the side of the shoe. Not much. Just a little bit. And then so if we saw it there, we're going to see a bottom of it here. All right? And I'm going to do it on this side too. I'm just giving the, it's making the shoe a little bit fatter, but not really. All right, we've got our shoe bottoms. Now, I want to, I said I'm going to make it red, white, and blue because it's Labor Day, so we want it to kind of look like Labor Day shoes. I don't think I'm going to make an American flag. Now, as I say, I'm going to make an American flag because I'm going to do mine red, white, and blue. Remember, you are an artist. You can do it any way you want. If you wanted polka dot flip-flops, if you want striped, um, if you want flamingos on them, whatever you want on your pair of shoes, you make them on your shoes. You could, but I'm going to draw the red, white, and blue. All right? So I'm going to pretend it's a flag. So I'm going to come across here, 
right across there. I'm gonna pretend I'm not touching it. I'm coming across, I'm coming across. Put the pen down again. And then I'm gonna come up here. So if you know what American flag looks like, this is what it's gonna be. This is gonna be the blue part with the stars over here. And then I'm gonna put the stripes over here. So I'm gonna make a line and another line. And I'm gonna make the stripes on a flag. I'll go over here. Oh, let's see. I think there's one about here. Oh, let's see. We'll just go ahead and make it one, two, three, four, and five. That's a lot of stripes. Now I got to make them match over here. So I'm going to come over to this side. Now I'm not going to touch in between here, but I'm going to pretend I'm going to come across and say, okay, that's where my first line would be one. Well, I guess it's one. Where am I? One, two. Okay, two. I'm losing track. Whoops, three, four, and five. Okay, we've got our shoes. All right, and you know what? I'm doing it. I'm going to put a little bit of, we're going to have a little beach here. They're sitting upright right on the beach like you put your shoes in the sand, just like that, so they're sitting up straight. All right, let's go ahead and start. I'm going to get my colors here. I'm going to try not to drop them. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, I'm going to put a few stars on here so that way I don't color over them. Now, I'm just going to do messy stars. You can take your time and make perfect stars, but I'm just going to make it just some crazy, crazy stars. Mine aren't even going to be really even. If you really looked at a flag, oh boy, oh, that's a crazy one. All right, and I maybe even have one that just goes off the paper there. And then I'll do another one right over here. And then another one here. Now, is anybody doing anything for Labor Day weekend? Going away or anything? I know we can't do too much, so, so it's, it's hard to do things. So, okay, let's get blue. I'm gonna do the upper part. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put one more star here because this looks pretty empty down here. There we go. Now I got a star. Now I'm ready to color. Now, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna put these over here so I don't have to touch them all the time. And I am going to put blue right in this, the top part of my shoe. But I'm gonna try not to get on my stars. So I'm gonna color in all up here. I'm gonna color fast. Well, that's a crazy star. It has a big bottom on it, but that's okay. So, a lot of people are back at school already. And some people are virtual. That means they're online, just like we're doing this. And some people are in the classroom again. So I figured next week, since everybody will be definitely back at school next week, that we'll do some a back to school picture. So we're going to celebrate Labor Day today, and then we'll do back to school. And then I got some crazy new costumes, so I can we can keep this going for a, quite a few Fridays. All right, I'm going to go around here. I'm going to leave the strap on my flip flops white. And I'm going to color in there and come up here. All right, starting to look like a flag. And then I'll do over here. This shoe's going to match. It kind of matches. Does anybody have some flip-flops? Like I said, I don't like them. I don't like the way they feel on my toes. But my grandkids, they all have them. They love them. They got different pictures on them. So I've seen flip-flops with Ninja Turtles on them. I've seen flip-flops with, oh, flowers and polka dots and all kinds of things. So they make them with all different pictures on them. They're kind of fun. All right, I've got the blue done. I'm gonna reach over here and I'm going to do the red stripes on the, let's see, I think that's red. We're gonna find out really fast if I've got a red one or not. All right, now let's do the red stripes on our shoes. I'm gonna start with the top one and I'm gonna make it red. And then I'll skip one. We're doing a pattern here. I'll do the next one red. Oh, these are looking cool. I like these. I, I might even like the flip flops if I had the pair like this. All right, now over here, we're gonna do, don't forget on this side of it. And then we'll go over here. If you notice, I just forgot to put a line in there, but that's okay. I knew when I was coloring to make sure I colored it. All right, down here. Skip one, go down a line. And it seems hard to believe when we started drawing together, it was kind of cold, it was March. 
and it was still pretty cold weather. And we have gone all the way from cold weather in March into spring, all through summer, and now we're going into fall soon, and we're still drawing together. I like it though. I kind of miss the every day, but then again, it's a little easier not to have to do this every single day and have to come up with a costume every day. All right, now, right underneath the blue is red, so we're gonna make sure the first stripe here is red. We'll do, skip a, skip a stripe, go down, do the next stripe red. Skip one and do this one. It's called a pattern, and you probably already learned that in school to do a pattern. All right, I'm loving our red, white, and blue flip flops. All right, let me grab this. Now let's give ourselves, I said this is going to be sand. Now I don't know if I got any sand color, so this may be kind of a strange sand color. Let me test. Yeah, we'll do that color. I'm doing a kind of a yellowy orange color. And I'm going to fill all this in. It's kind of an orange beach. I don't know. If you have a better color, maybe you'd want a tan, a light brown. I kind of started with orange, so now I'm kind of stuck doing it with orange. It's going to be a lot of coloring, though. There's a lot of sand I've left on here. And I'm going to run out of... I think I'm going to have to peel my pastel again. I'm going to make a line right around there so I can color faster. Maybe I'm going to peel this a little bit. Oh, I did more than peel a little bit. I peeled the whole darn thing. But maybe this way I'll do this now. Oh, yeah, that's a lot faster coloring. Maybe not as nice looking, but it colors faster for me. And my paper is so big. You probably have a regular size pad of paper. I got this big, huge thing. So it's a lot of coloring once I start. And if I was going to fool around with this, maybe I'd say, you know what, Angela, I don't like that orange so much. And I might put a little brown and some other colors in there just to kind of make it not so, such an orange beach. Now, let's see. Let's get the sky. Let's do a light blue sky because we can't do a dark blue because then it will blend in with our, with our shoes. So we'll just make a little light blue sky here. I'm going to go down in between them. Try not to get it on my shoes. It's a nice sunny day at the beach. Or, you know what it could be? If I was thinking it would be shoes stuck in the beach like this, but it could be somebody left their shoes right at the edge of the water and half of their shoe is still on the sand and the other part is in the water. Wow. I don't know. When you're an artist, you can make up any stories you want when you draw things. All right, I'm going to go back. I'm going to grab the red for a minute because I see I kind of forgot something. My gosh, I don't even know what red color I used. Isn't that terrible? We'll use this one. I'm going to get these side things right here. I'm going to make sure they're colored in. Just that little bit of the side of the shoe. So we're going to pretend like the shoes are red, really, and then they've got this other design painted on them. All right, I'm, I like that better now. And now, because I, I just am not loving my beach color. That would have been the good beach color. It's kind of a brownie color. But you could go back in there, and beaches are all different colors. You can add some more color to it. You can add some texture to it. Whatever you want to do. But try draw, drawing these flip-flops to celebrate Labor Day weekend, and we will see you next week, next Friday, and we will do something for back to school. So it'll be back to school. It will be day 112, 112 days. Can you believe it? So be safe, be creative, and remember to be kind to everyone. It's really important in this world to be kind to everyone. We'll see you next week, everybody. Bye-bye.